Hi guys, this is Teacher Mel and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're going to learn but before we start uh, shout out to all my subscribers okay thank you for subscribing and thank you for staying in my channel and shout out to all my maths fanatics okay so if you are ready to learn stay tuned and let's go okay guys in division of uh, whole numbers by 10 by 100 or by 1000 there are some different techniques okay so let's start with division the dividing the whole numbers by uh, 10 let's say if you have so if you have 730 yeah divided by 10 okay so 730 divided by 10 we can also rewrite this in this form so 730 over 10 okay they are the same okay they are in the same form different form but it's the same meaning yeah so first way if you are dividing a number or uh, dividing a whole number by 10 yeah ending in zero okay so you can just simply cut this one you can see just simply cut zero one zero on top and one zero on down and then the answer will become 73 divided by one is 73 right so that's the first technique okay so similarly if you are dividing a number by like let's say um, 8700 divided by 100 okay so this equation can be rewrite or this form can be rewrite in this form so 8700 is also the same by over by 100 right so that one so this equation is the same they are in different form but it has the same meaning so it's it's both division so you can also cut this one cut one zero and then cut one zero here so the remaining is 87 on up and then one on done but what is 87 over one or divided by one so the answer is 87 okay so it also has the same meaning like if you are dividing 50,000 let's say you have 50,000 yeah divided by let's say 1,000 okay so this one you can rewrite it in 50,000 over 1000 so you can rewrite it in this form they are this they are in different uh, form but it has the same meaning so all you have to do when you divide 50,000 by 1000 you can just simply cut this zero yeah so three zero cut so what is left is 50 divided by 1 of the over 1 is equal to 50 okay that method is is fine or that method is okay if your number or if your dividend is or if your dividend ended with zero yeah that one is is very quick method okay but what if your number or your dividend is not ending in zero okay Okay, for example, if you have 732 divided by 10. So normally, if you have that kind of number, okay, we apply the traditional way. 
or are you going to apply the traditional way where in traditional way like you are doing like 732 divided by 10 so how many 10 can you make from 73 so you can make 7 10 and 7 times 10 is 70 okay and then you minus it 73 minus 70 is 3 then divided by ah uh, bring down 2 I mean so and then you can make 3 tenths out of 32 this is 3 and then 3 times 10 is 30 yeah and 32 minus 30 is 2 and then you add 0 in there and then bring down 0 in there so you get 20 in there so and then you can make 2 point yeah point so you can make 2 tenths out of 20 and then you got 0 in there yeah so that is the traditional way of dividing numbers by 10 but it's too long yeah it's too long so I'm gonna teach you today I'm gonna teach you the shortest way okay when you are dividing this kind of number by 10 so remember in multiplication of whole numbers by 10 101 and 1000 we move the decimal point going to the right yeah? so we move the decimal point going to the right when we are multiplying whole numbers by 10 by 100 and by a thousand but when you are dividing you're going to move since in 10 yeah in 10 you have one zero so every whole number there the decimal point is located in the right side of the last digit yeah in here it's in here so you have one zero in ten so you just move the decimal point going to the left one time yeah so your point is here so it will be moving here so your answer will become 73.2 as you can see in your traditional way yeah 73.2 is the same in the shortest way 73.2 okay so another example if you have if you have 732 divided by 100 so okay so what's the answer as you can see you have two zero in here yeah so the de your decimal point is in the right side of the last digit so it's here so all you have to do is move it twice or two times so, okay so you move it here one two and your decimal point will be moved here so your answer will become seven point thirty two okay and that is the answer when you divide seven hundred thirty two by one hundred all right it's more easy it's more quicker than the tradition than the traditional way now if you have for example another example if you have 732 divided by 1000 okay so what will be the answer as you can see in 1000 you have three zeros okay and remember your decimal point the decimal point of every whole number is in the la right side is in the right side of the last digit so it's in here so in 1000 again you have three zero so you have to move it three times one two three so your decimal point will be moved here okay so your answer will become point seven three two or point seven three two is the same as zero point seven three two and that is the answer when you divide 732 by 1000 right you understand okay let's take another example okay example number two if you have 12 divided by 10 so again so since in 10 you have one zero 
and the decimal point of 12 is in the right side of 2 or right side of the last digit so it's in here so you have to move it going you have to move your point going to the left one time so one so it will become 1.2 right so the answer when you divide 12 divided by 10 is 1.2 okay but if you have 12 divided by 100 yeah so your answer is so since in 100 you have 20 okay so and the decimal point of 12 is in the right side of the last digit so where it is where it is located oh, it is located here so you have to move twice so one two okay so your point will be moved here and your answer will become 0 0.12 or 0 0.12 it's the same okay and if you have 1 2 or 12 divided by 1000 okay so remember in 1000 you have three zeros and your 12 the decimal point is here so you have to move the point three times going to the left so one two and three so your point will be here all you have to do and uh, is just add zero here and your point is here so your answer will become zero point zero one two okay so that is the answer that is the different answer when 12 divided by 10 and 12 divided by 100 or 12 divided by 1000 okay so let's take the last example now if you have let's say if you have uh, 3765 okay divided by 10 so what is the answer actually you can do it mentally so your answer will become 376.5 how because in 10 okay we have one zero in 10 so the decimal point of this number is in the right side of five or the last digit so we just move it going to the left one time so that's why it will become 376.5 okay, another one if you have 3765 divided by 100 so in 100 we have two zero and the decimal point of 3765 is in the right side of five so we just move the point twice going to the left so one two and the answer will become 37.7 or six five okay and lastly if you are going to divide thirty seven six five or three thousand seven hundred sixty five divided by one thousand okay so remember in one thousand you have three zero and the decimal point of three thousand seven hundred sixty five is in the right side of the last digit or the right side of five so it's here so you have to move the point going to the left three times so one two and three so your answer will become three point seven six five okay and that is the quickest way on how to divide the number by the whole number by 10 by 100 and by 1000 okay so if you want to learn more techniques about maths so please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell below so that you will get notified the next time i uploaded the video all right so stay tuned and thank you so much bye for now